Yo, what's up kids? Welcome back to another video. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video, new world box update ideas. Where I just came up with some world box update ideas by myself. And I also told you guys to comment down some of your ideas. And today, it's the day. The day you've been all waiting for. The day where I read out all of your ideas. I said the word ideas more than Owen Wilson said wow throughout his entire career. Wow. But alright, let's get to it. Dinosaur. Please add dinosaur. I think that sort of like blends into this idea of like different ages and different eras in the world. Because if I think about it, dinosaurs would be quite overpowered. So I'm not sure how dinosaurs would work to be fair. But I'm pretty sure the developers might find a way to balance it out. Of course, there are a lot of comments under this video. I won't be reading out all of them. Because there is a lot. They should add evolution updates. Yeah, that sort of like blends in with the dinosaurs. And then a comment responding to it. Monkeys have a rare chance to give birth to cavemen. That, and that's a good idea. But I think it should be like a very, very rare chance, like a point, like a point one percent chance or something like that. That would be cool. I want horse. I want horses as well. Add gore and blood and add walls. This guy's insane. He's more insane than me. Ideas. That's a very productive comment. Yeah, we need religions already. Yeah, religions have been a thing which were supposed to be added months ago. I'm pretty sure we'll see them somewhere this year. And people also said we should have Christianity, Islam, and some other religions. I don't think really the religion update should work like that because that's going to cause fights. I'm not going to lie. I think the game developers should make up like few gods, like some worshipping you as the player, some worshipping two other gods which aren't real. I'm, I'm pretty sure the religion update is in the works because like I think it has been announced months ago. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't follow up with every single Roblox update. But I think that update has been in the works. Maybe. Maxim. Maybe give us some news. I want to play like you're the king in the kingdom. You choose and you can pick only kingdom you want to fight. That would be awesome if they added it. I remember there was a thing called the RPG mod or something like that. Where you were able to play as any character you chose. Well, as humans anyways, for sure. I think it would be quite cool if you got to play as the king. But at the same time, the game doesn't really have much to offer for creatures in this game. Like, I, I wouldn't say it would be fun playing from a creature's point of view, to be fair. Unless they make like a quality of life update or something. Add bridges. This is one of the most requested ones. Yeah, to be to, like to be fair, please add bridges. Like we have all these roads which are practically useless, but like the one thing we need is a simple one by one bridge, and we don't have a one by one bridge. I'm going to become an alcoholic, and my entire life is going to turn around if they if they won't add bridges on time. I just want nightmare biomes. Vampires, werewolves, skeletons, and other nightmare creatures will spawn. And there will always be night. And if monsters will leave this biome, for example, vampires would burn. And werewolves would turn into humans. I think that might be a good idea to have biomes which only have very like dangerous creatures. And those creatures can only stay within that biome. That would be quite cool in my opinion. It sounds like a Halloween update to me to be fair. At the very same time, the developers have to make sure Wallbox doesn't become like a completely messed up game because like if you have a bunch of like very small features and they're both colliding with each other, the game might just turn out as a mess. But I still think they should add some quality of life features in the game. My idea is I want cars to be made in the year 1888. Alright, cars in Wallbox. I think this sort of falls under the evolution update. I actually might make a video on the evolution update since so many people are mentioning it. You know, some extra views for me. Some extra cash, some extra McDonald's. But like, do I think cars should be added inside of World Box? I, I don't think, I don't think so. Unless the game like completely goes through an evolution. That we go from these houses to huge skyscrapers. And we go from melee to guns. Even though I don't really agree with guns being added to World Box. But we sort of get a gist. Like if we want cars to be added, everything has to evolve around it. And I think that would sort of like kill the charm of World Box, I'm not sure. Please let me guys know in the comments what you think about this. Many people are also talking about the naval update, I'm pretty sure that's going to come out quite soon. We already have mods for it. I think we just add more because sometimes I see two ships just like flow right next to each other and they don't do a single thing. New update idea, moon, Mars and aliens which live there. Okay, I'm just thinking how should this work because I was sort of like thinking should I make a video on like dimensions that they should add like different dimensions to the world. Like for example, if you guys ever play Clash of Clans, there's the main base, there's also the dark base. It's the same world but they're able to transition to sort of like a different dimension or a different part of the world. I'm pretty sure that there's a way they could figure it out. Great videos, love your channel, thank you. Thank you very much. And if you're enjoying this video, drop a like and subscribe. D don't feel pressured, like, I definitely won't find you and I definitely won't come to your house if you won't subscribe. Hmm. Add some dragons and make them some home to stay. As of now, we do have dragons in the game, but they sort of just fly around, but they do go to sleep every now and then. They're actually quite kawaii when they sleep.
I'm sorry. But yeah, I think every single dragon should have a mountain or a place where they could stay at all times. Like a dragon's nest, a dragon's cave. That would be a pretty cool update. Do you have Minecraft gaming? My ideas are civilizations making more houses. I'm pretty sure they should have more houses. Do something with the roads. I know there's a mod which stops the roads, but by default in the game, we should have something which stops the roads. They're just useless. They're actually useless. Add bridges, maybe. That might be a good idea. I would like if they made religions in World Box. Another comment about religions. Another person wanting bridges. Bridges, another person wanting dinosaurs. The domestication of animals, that would be a great one. <laughs> it, it would be very cool to adopt a bunch of turtles and then like make them very overpowered, give them a god trait and send them to battle. But yeah, the, the, the domestication of animals is something I can see, like people taming wolves for example, bears, practically any animal and using them in combat, or just as a pet I guess, it would be quite cool. They should add mixed breed races, child of god. <laughs> <laughs> what is this profile picture? Well, well, I'm pretty sure that's definitely something the community wants. And by the way, I made a video about the breed races in the game. It's not really a video, it's more of a film. The story of Congolia. Please watch. From Henry Marshall. Monkeys should build, and they should also add whales. And people can build bridges! Please! Everybody wants the bridges! And they and he wants some planes to drop bombs. Mm. Nah, 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 nah. I, I don't see how planes would work. Maybe a hot air balloon. <laughs> I, I don't see how planes would work inside of this game. Well, Poland. Witaj Polski Bracie. They should add alliances so I could make world wars. Really? World wars? Yeah, they should definitely add alliances. I think it's something which has been requested for a while now. And it's one of the features I believe they're working, working on because of how demanding the community is of it. Channel. That's a very interesting profile picture right here. Definitely won't give me nightmares in my sleep. What if they added a flag in the city and when a kingdom attacks, the flag goes down and the enemy flag starts rising up? Now like let's say we have the main city hall or the main castle. We have the kingdom's flag just waving in the sky. And whenever they get attacked and another kingdom colonizes that area, the flag goes down. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. That's a very good idea and an even better profile picture. Okay, call me crazy, but all I want is these aliens to send in troops to make a proper invasion instead of crashing and then spawning some aliens. Yeah, I agree. I think it should be an event that they just say there's like one big mothership and a bunch of like smaller ships and that should be the alien invasion. It's something definitely possible in the game. As of now, whenever you spawn in a dragon, a spaceship, they get attacked and destroyed like, practically right away. If they add a mothership and like a very, very well detailed invasion with a bunch of like different probes which do different things, it can definitely be a feature. Good idea, Piglin469. Ideas. Have shields for armies to use. Have allies to help you if a war happens. They should add factions, basically groups of kingdoms working together. Every everybody wants an alliance system. I think it will definitely work out in this game. Improved trading. This, this is something new. If there's a nation with a lot of adamantine, but they don't have lots of food, they should be able to trade depending on what they have. And something that shows when and when trades are happening. You could not have explained it better. That would be, like, if they ever make a trading update, I think I might not. Because sometimes they have creatures, for example a human, like they really like burgers, but the human kingdom cannot make burgers. The orcs make them. It would be very good if like different kingdoms could trade or material, and foods. That would be awesome. I know trading food won't really affect the gameplay, but it's just the little features which make the game so big. Like adding bridges, for example. What about a sea intelligent species that lives in the ocean and will be more lively and coral reefs? I remember somebody mentioning coral reefs in the past. I don't see how it can work out in the game. World box is 2D. It would be quite difficult to recognize coral. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure people would mistake it for like the candy biome or something, I don't know. But I remember us mentioning the Clash of Clans idea. We have our main world, then we have another world. It could be an update. We have our main world, then we switch view to the water. And people who live in the water, I, I don't know, should I be calling it an ocean? People who live in the ocean won't be visible in the main world map. And for example, they are able to like go on land for a little while, that would be pretty good as well. I don't know, if they're supposed to add more life to the ocean, I think it has to be a very thought out update. Add a day and night system. It will be more fun. Yeah, I'll say add it, but make it toggable. Because I remember there's one game, uh, Hoi 4. It has a day and night system and it's actual AIDS. It's, it's HPV because AIDS isn't contagious enough. The day and night system can be very, very scuffed, especially when you, whenever you play World Box. One month is a matter of few seconds. 
I would say if they think it out a little bit, it could possibly work out. Instead of adding catapults, add more siege equipment, like add cannons or a treble. Tre I've never heard this word before. What's a tre treble hat? Oh, th this is so hot. I'm, I'm not going to lie. This machine is so hot. If you add catapults, make them realistic by launch. Multiple rocks, like 75% the size of a bowling ball. I think that's still pretty big. I'm not sure about that. But yeah, they should definitely add siege equipment. As of now, it's quite bland. You have two armies. They sort of together they just rush at each other mindlessly so yeah if they add like war formations some siege equipment that would definitely be a great update my idea is to add a button that spawns in how many humans or others you want to spawn at a time that would be perfect because like sometimes i want to create a kingdom of 1000 people and i just have to stand there definitely that, that would be an awesome feature but at the same time you're going to have some kid which is going to like spam 1000 humans like 200 times and their game is going to crash and their laptop is going to explode so it's going to result in death so yeah, you might want to think about it. I wish there were different government types instead of absolute monarchies. For example, parliamentary monarchy, an elected leader for 20 years, dictatorship. Oh yes, 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 dictatorship. I love it. Basically a republic, but instead of an elected leader, they have a leader that overthrows original government and they stay leader until they're dead. And that's a very good idea. I don't think there's anything I can say about it. Random guy, what's up bro? I think they should add more monsters or better battles like spare formation and archers at the back. They should also add horses. We need horses in the game, come on. Come on, you, you can just add a horse. Like people want cars, but they'll say a horse is better. I would like to see bosses other than Krabzilla and the dragon is kinda weak. I agree with you, the dragon's overrated. That whenever somebody says the dragon is overpowered, stop and think about it. I think we should have different dragons in the game, like an ice dragon, Dragon, maybe a bigger dragon like a mother dragon which lays eggs and creates more dragons I think that would be pretty cool I think they should also add bosses like aliens mothership with a lot of aliens I think I said that before dinosaurs I I'm not sure how dinosaurs would work to be fair they should also add giant ogres <laughs> they should just add Shrek to the game that would be awesome I think we need a name customization in coaches for example French names not French names not French but German yeah hell yeah German all day it would be cool to see real bridges! Yes! Think about how cool it would be to actually have a bridge! What they need to add is more maps. Do they? Do they have to add more maps? I think making your own map is the best you can do. But yeah, I agree, maps should be a little bit bigger. Something above Iceberg. Because I'm sorry, Iceberg isn't big enough. I hate to look down on it, but it's just not big enough. I'm sorry, bro. I have a bigger one and my one has to fit in somewhere and Iceberg isn't quite the size. Oh yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed your 4th of July, that was a few days ago. And please comment down, is it true that people just like shoot into the sky? I've heard about it, but like, I'm not American. And I don't understand why, why you guys love guns so much, but yeah. I want to see them trading like roads between villages that people carry carts on. Yeah, that would be a very cool idea. Instead of cars, just have like a very simple cart and like people on horseback, that would be that would be great. They used to add ninjas or assassins to the game. <gasps> That would be quite cool if you think about it. Like, a kingdom sends out spies to another kingdom, and they'll be able to assassinate the king or something. That would be very cool. A little bit overpowered if you think about it, but I'm pretty sure there will be a way to balance it out. What I want is a family tree. We have the family mod. I think that's good enough. And by the way, there's no modern fodder. Like, you open up their underworld, there's nothing. Have you ever seen Attack on Titan? Like, it's just nothing. There's nothing down there. There's nothing to be proud of. I think religions would be a great update, considering royal bucks that got some later. Yeah, they're adding it soon. We already got this coming a few times. There were prophets in the coming soon suggestion box in the forum. I think they should roam around the world spreading out words. Would be an amazing addition and then wars between fates. Just like real life, man just like real life. Here's my idea, but it might be too big. Controllable NPC, being able to enter houses as an NPC, and gunpowder, muskets, bombs, or cannons. Gunpowder would be great. I'm not sure about the NPC part. It reminds me of the RPG mod. Also, you mentioned switching to 3D models and added gore. I don't think that can possibly work out inside of World Box because, you know, World Box is World Box. It's not trying to be anything other than World Box. I really want more in-depth trading and have sanctions added to the game. Like for example, we could see what kingdom imports slash exports or who their largest trading partners. I know sometimes there's a mistake whenever you guys comment down, but my brain just doesn't process it in time. I think shields would be pretty cool. Maybe units could make formations like the Roman one to be 100% protect from arrows. I'm pretty sure one modder is working on it, so I'm pretty sure we might see it in the game. Here's my ideas, moon bug metal, you went, you're mad man. There's so many, I won't be reading out all of this, there's just too much, I'll just read out the, like, the main parts. Your comment definitely deserves a like bro. 
even try hard, I might pin it. I'm going to pin it later on after this video, if I remember. Dragons can mate with each other, and one of them can lay eggs. Civilized races can steal these eggs, and can raise the dragon side. When the dragon's old enough, it can be used as a powerful war unit. Some people will also kill the dragon side, or cook the egg for a good feast. That's a great idea, I think about it. Okay, I won't read out all of them, but I'll read out some of them. Exile, that sounds very interesting. People can be exiled out of a kingdom for certain acts. People now can show aggression and even violence to their own fellow civilians, and the village chief can decide whether the aggressor can stay or leave. The conductor of the act can be exiled and cannot build a kingdom. If the village chief or the king decides that the exiled person can come back, the exiled person has a chance to get a shame trait, which makes them less social and less willing to do jobs. Most exiled people can come back to not get the shame trait. Yeah, so, sounds good to me. Oh yeah, this is interesting. Elemental dragons. The dragons below represent elements, except for the Hydra. Elemental dragons, the Viton dragon, based around water. It can cause whirlpools, tsunamis, water jets, and water whips. This dude is genius, I'm not going to lie. I thought I'm creative, but then we have What's your name again? Moonbug. Moonbug is insane. Do you have a YouTube channel by any chance? He doesn't, but he has 20 subs. You're, you're such a big brain. Cockatrice dragons? Based around Earth. It can cause earthquakes to form. Volcanoes to berserk. Oh my god, the advanced language, even I can't keep up. It can cause the Landaradon to fall into the abyss and make magma henchmen. Serpentine, based around air. It can lift creatures up and down violently. Force push creatures around chaotically and make mini tornadoes. It looks like a Chinese dragon. Castles. <laughs> oh my god, I got hiccups. Why do I get... Why do I have to get hiccups when I'm recording a video? Why? Castles are houses for the king or queen. They are huge and require many resources to build. Elite guards with good armor and weapons surround the castle and protect it from intruders. Before living in a castle, kings and queens live in a house or in the capital city hall. Castles are very sturdy and monarchs usually hide in castles when there's a war. Bro, this guy is actually insane. I know I said it multiple times, but I'm actually impressed. You should, you should, you should start like a YouTube channel or a Reddit account if you haven't already, dude. Okay, I, I'm not going to read all of this because I know the video is pretty long. That, that's a very good job, Moonbug. Respect. Thank you so much for watching this. And if you enjoyed it, and if you have any of your own ideas, comment them down. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, join my Discord server, the Children of Papi, first link in the description. And for today, kids, I am out. Have an awesome one. Goodbye.